KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, still a blistery, windy, kind of somewhat rainy Delray Beach, Florida. But this is your 11 a.m. update. We got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. It's a New York Stock Exchange trading the downside. A couple sectors with inside the S&P 500 doing the same. The Dow is up six points, so basically flat. Five points for the S&P. We'll call that flat. 109 points for the NASDAQ. Seven tenths were sent to the upside. That is not flat Flat out there. Two tenths for the uh, Russell. Three points. So one and a quarter percent for the semis. 50 points. The markets are not going to top with the uh, semis and the uh, NASDAQ 100 moving higher out there. You've got gold up. Four bucks and change. Silver's off 11 cents. Slight sweet crude is off 35 cents. Natural gas up 10 pennies. Nice move there. And the 30 year treasury up 18 ticks. She's printing out at 124 even. Stephen. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner of the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, what we know, there's no topping pattern in play out here. Maybe there's a wave number seven. I have to go look. There's a wave number seven, a cash industry. So I assume that we still have that in play out here in the ES Mini. Regardless of that, price is likely targeting the 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points. That would take us up towards 48.94. That'll certainly be accomplished if the spot politics continues to stay where it's at, below where it's at, below the 50-day exponential moving average. Now, nice rally inside the NQ. A new profile has been attempting to form all morning long. So I don't know if we'll take hold. We'll know on Sunday evening. But right now what we have is the sellers are sitting at 16885 and the buyers are at 16528 If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it did take out its wave seven bottom yesterday. It did close below the bottom of its daily profile. That's out at the 102.18 level. Today, prices tried to get inside that profile. Now, there's additional support. It's not daily support. It would be the weekly time frame, and its breakout levels at 101.17. So we want to watch the bottom of that profile, 102.18. If price were to close back inside it, it tells us about a false breakdown yesterday. Goldilocks is also has formed a new profile. That new profile, is uh, slightly below the prior profile out here. That says that uh, gold is likely not to get carried away to the upside. Nonetheless, you've got resistance up at the top of that profile, 2062.90, support is at 2017.90. Silver also formed a new profile, resistance at 2479, uh, support at 2390. Got lights for crew, we're trading the uh, February contract right now, 7014 is drunk, support both the center and bottom of its profile there, resistance 7755. And natural gas trading right up into the resistance level of the top of its profile, and that's up at the 2 240 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. If not, have a fantastic Friday. We'll look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care now.